because y'all see what I just said. Jesus heals the living water. Now watch this here. The man had been lame for 38 years. Somebody say 38 years. I'm trying to build a case, Sister Lua. Listen, he said, 38 years, I was not able to walk. And I was right here at this pool waiting for my turn. Is there anybody in here waiting for your turn? Somebody high five your neighbor and say, I'm waiting. I can't hear y'all say, I'm waiting for my turn. I only need some serious people in here to say, I'm waiting. Wait a minute, where the serious folk at in here? Say, I'm waiting for my turn. Somebody say, I may not have been at the pool for 38 long years, but I've been waiting for a long time, and I'm waiting for my turn. Okay, watch this. Watch this. I'm coming to get you. Watch this, Sister Diane. Now, watch this. I need y'all to catch this, and I got to get out of here. Watch this. So, watch this. While others were standing at the pool, TT, they was waiting to get wet. There was a man that had a walker, Sister Al, and he could not make it to the pool. And, and, and every time he tried to get there at the pool, he couldn't make it because somebody would knock him down. I, I wish I could catch that right there. But watch this here. The living water came to the man and said, will not be made home. Holy Ghost. <laughs> he asked him a question, not asking him permission, can I heal you? He said, will thou be made whole? So watch this. The man had to have some type of ignorance in this bed because when Jesus came to him and asked him, will thou be made whole, he went into a whole dialogue talking about, well, I've been at the pool so such and, such and, such, and every time I try to get to the pool and somebody would not be Jesus said, I didn't ask you all that. He said, all I want to know is will thou be made whole? I wish y'all just catch that. Sometimes God comes to us and asks us questions and we go through this whole long dialogue. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Father in Jesus' name, the father of Jacob, Isaac, and all that other stuff. God don't need to know all of that. All he wants to know is do you want to be made? Oh, man. Y'all just missed what I just said. Stop going all around the corner, and when God asks you a question, say yes or no. Now, let me ask y'all the question in here. Is there anybody in here want to be made whole? Yes or no? Okay, watch this. I'm going to go. I promise you, I've been saying that, but I feel good now. So watch this. While others were standing waiting to get wet. Tell your neighbor, they was waiting to get wet. Oh, come on, huh? Because they understood that if the angel of the Lord stir up the waters, I got to get wet to get my breakthrough. Oh, man. <laughs> but watch this. Jesus told the man. I need y'all to catch this. He said, uh, take up thy bed. Uh-oh, somebody, uh-oh. Let me say that again. He said, take up thy bed and walk. Okay, let me come back and get y'all. I told y'all I used to ride the slow bus when I was a child. So let me come help you. While other people had to get wet, Kelly, all the man needed was a word from the Lord. Can I come back and help y'all? All you need is a word. Good God Almighty. Y'all just missed that. Y'all don't make me shout. You don't got to get wet. All you need is a word from the Lord. Do I got anybody up in here say, I need a word from the Lord? Anybody know who the word is? Wait a minute. I wish I had some help in here. Is there anybody in here know who the word is? Well, let me come back and get you. Jesus said that, that in the beginning, um, I was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. I wish I understood what I'm talking about. This crippled man didn't understand that he didn't need to get wet. All he needed to do was take up his bed and walk. I wish I had time to sit 
finish this text right here. Can, can I have about five more minutes? I promise you, just give me five more minutes. So watch this right here. Watch this. So Jesus told the man to take up your bed and walk. And, and now I, I don't see nowhere in this scripture that that man had to jump in the water. Oh man. But all I know that the Bible says that he got a word from the Lord. Come back and get us, preacher. The word from the Lord can take you farther than it is written, blessed water, all that stuff they like to, y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, you can't lose with the stuff I use. All you got to do is get a word from the Lord. Oh, Lord, it helped me help. They wanted the old folk used to say something inside of me. And I got in the old school folks up in here telling me to go ahead because they got a word from the Lord. Watch this. So when he got his word, the Bible says he took up his bed and he walked. <laughs> Preach, my Lord. I feel pretty good here. Is there anybody ever been laying in a hospital bed? And the doctors had tried to do everything that they could do for you. And everything that they did really didn't help. But it wasn't until you got a word from the Lord. I, I talked to myself then. Because I know that it was the blood from me. So watch this, watch this. I told y'all that it was people hanging around the pool that had eye sickness. Somebody said eye sickness. So, in other words, when the man took up his bed, Sister Al, and he started walking, Brandon, instead of them start praising the Lord, they start talking. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Y'all missed that? <laughs> um, the man just had got a miracle. The man had just got blessed. <laughs> and instead of them walking around town talking about, hey, child, there was a man that had been lame for 38 years and Jesus came by. He didn't touch him. He didn't spit on him. He didn't do nothing but he gave him a word and told him to get up and walk. They didn't do that. They were talking, but they were talking gossip. Uh-oh, there's a difference between gossip and gospel. Preach below. <laughs> Can I say that again? There's a difference between gossip and gospel. Gossip kills people, but the gospel will build you up. Okay, y'all just missed that right now. So let me, let me help you out. If you want to know whether you're gossip or talking gospel, if the words that are coming out of your mouth are killing somebody, that's gossip. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? If you try to kill somebody, that's gossip. But if you try to build somebody up, that's the gospel. I wish I had a help in here. There's a difference between gossip and gospel. Tell your neighbor, say, there's a big difference. Yeah, we got a lot of folk that come to church just to gossip. and nothing about the gospel. Oh, preach up in here, my Lord. I didn't mean to get this deep this morning, but I'm here, I might as well stay here. Now, can I just be honest? Will some of y'all be honest with me? Do y'all know some gossiping church folk? Oh, something got me quite quiet. Yeah, because you got more gossiping church folk than you do gospel talking church folk. Preach up in here, Reverend. Somebody say, preach me Lord. The reason why people don't come to church uh, is because of gossiping uh, church folk. Oh, I'm preaching, I'm preaching. So, so, so instead of them walking around talking about the gospel, they were talking about, wait a minute. Personal demons. Personal demons, thank you, preacher. Thank you, thank you. So watch this, watch this, watch this. So instead of them talking about what Jesus just had done good, the first thing they did, they said, wait a minute. Jesus wasn't supposed to heal nobody on this day. It's right here in the text. It's right here in the text. Watch this. They said, wait a minute. Instead of them being happy 
about this man that had been laying for 38 years. Then they want to start talking about the law. <laughs> Help me, Holy Ghost. Y'all know some people like that, don't you? We ain't supposed to do that on this day. The devil is a liar. I, last time I checked, Jesus said, God, they ain't got no rules. They can heal you whenever they get ready. Is there anybody know what I'm talking about in here? Some of y'all feel like you got to wait till Sunday morning just to get your breakthrough. Uh, the devil is a liar. I don't know about y'all, but I done got a breakthrough when I was riding in my car. All by myself. Maybe I'm the only one that do that in here. That'll turn on the radio and I'll start listening when I think of the goodness of Jesus. I wish I had just somebody that'll go, just, that'll go with me. Just, will y'all go with me for about 30 seconds? Will you just ride by yourself in your whip? And you begin to think about how good God has been to you. Do I got anybody that do that up in here? When he allowed you to stay on your job, uh, to retire, uh, while everybody else was losing their jobs. Uh, you almost lose yourself uh, because you said, Lord, I thank you. Uh, I wish I had some help up in this house. Uh, is there anybody up in here uh, say, I ain't got to wait till Sunday morning uh, to praise the Lord? Uh, do I have anybody up in here uh, that say, I ain't got to wait uh, till I get the Bible study? Uh, Yeah. 
Uh uh, I ain't got y'all cooperation. Say, when the sick person come to me, say, I'm gonna tell him you need Jesus. Come on, tell him, say, you need Jesus. Lord, we thank you right now for this word today. Lord, we thank you for equipping us to be ready to handle sick people. Lord, we thank you right now for getting us ready for this war zone that we've entered. Last week, God, you told us that we've just graduated boot camp. Our first destination is Camp Sick Lane. And God, you've trained us this week to be able to deal with the sick people. God, we need you right now. God, we need you right now. Because there's some things that we want to tell some sick people. There are some things that we want to do to sick people. But God, we're going to do what you trained us to do. Because God, we understand that once we pass this test, we can get a medal of honor. And we can go to the next level. God, we thank you right now for this ensuing war that we're in. God, we thank you right now for each and every individual that has signed up and enlisted in this army. Because God, we understand that there's a crown of life waiting for us. 